Okay, very good morning to all of you. Uh, I welcome you all to this uh, uh, virtual webinar on web hosting and web application development with content management system. So, first of all, I express my sincere thanks to all of you for joining this webinar. And uh, the purpose of this webinar is only to interact with the professionals who are in need of development of web application with uh, different available tools in the open source category or uh, commercial software. So basically we will be talking about uh, uh, open source category, the two major software in the open source category uh, for content management system and those are Joomla and WordPress. So the basic objective of this uh, webinar is to uh, throw light on the different uh, tools, especially in the open source category for the development of uh, web application with Joomla and WordPress. So the agenda uh, I have already uh, shared in the librarian guide channel, but uh, still some of you, uh, if you have not got or you are not aware, so in that uh, I means I am just going to share again. So this will be uh, means the total uh, our outline of the program today. We are going to talk about the website and web hosting. Then why to host the most important point that uh, if we do not host, so will our not means will our purpose not solved then type of uh, hosting there are many different types so we'll be talking about uh, those also like shared hosting uh, and uh, vps hosting dedicated and uh, cloud reseller hosting all these points we'll be discussing in detail another point that is the when we go for the hosting of the website so what are the points we need to take care in order to uh, in order to purchase the web hosting service from the different uh, provider. Then we'll be talking about where to host, which which ho web host provider is the best one. So we will see in that. Uh, and then we will configure the server online after uh, we will see the process how to purchase. And uh, then we will talk about how we can install the content management system on the server and also uh, how to work in the two different Joomla and WordPress software in online as well as we will see in the offline mode. So basically this particular webinar is divided into two parts. In the first part we will be talking only about uh, the presentation and we will see that how we can do it online. So many of us those who are interested to host the website online so they will get an uh, idea that how they can design their website or the web application or the uh, the different uh, web uh, platform uh, to provide the services to the end users of library or their organization and in the second part we will be talking mainly about uh, the stand means hands on session we will install the joomla with the um, uh, server means we will create our own server in the laptop or uh, desktop and uh, we will install so we will see the hands on uh, means uh, session we will have and then uh, we will have the open session for uh, uh, question and answer so this is the outline of the program today and this is the website uh, which i have developed using the joomla content management system this is my website so the purpose of uh, showing this website at this moment is that uh, to describe what the meaning of the website i think everybody is aware but when we uh, construct it in a sentence so we find that any kind of website is a mirror of what we are doing uh, i mean to say that the services or the if i talk about any personal website so it reflects that what the work you have done and what you are going to write about you or the what the purpose of the website for that you have chosen so it is mirror of our, our work or idea and uh, uh, it is a digital presence around the globe online so in my opinion it is uh, simply 
the it uh, shows our digital presence online around the globe so you can see this website particularly uh, you can access this website at dptriparty.co.in and what the benefits we get when we talk about the web means when we develop website and host it the benefit is that we directly connect with the users especially if we deal in the uh, relevance of the library so we are having uh, many users in the library and uh, we need to connect all of them uh, whether it is a matter of service or uh, resources so it is our prime duty to impart the uh, means uh, provide the services to the end users so library website or any kind of website uh, the purpose which you have chosen so the website is the best tool in order to connect to the end users so if we take the example of library so library can have its own website where library can mention about all its services being provided all its uh, resources and also other uh, details of the library like uh, what uh, future plan and what are the training program what are the different user awareness program so all these detail any platform whether it is website blog or web application um, we are having so we can connect the user directly so this is the biggest advantage of the website it also helps uh, to market our services if you take the example of different library services consider these services as a as a good so what you do you market you can market your services you can tell the people around the globe that you are doing in your library this so the benefit the other users who are not uh, using or you are not aware about your library they also get an idea that this is the basic uh, uh, means this website has all the detail and my library has all the resources so you can say that library website or any website can also help to market our services so that is the one of the best part the identity that is the most important part many of many libraries many organization many institution they are having the good infrastructure they are having the good uh, services good resources but uh, on uh, you can say the at the online platform or the in the digital presence the website is the best tool to to uh, showcase or you can say to mark the presence or to tell the world that yes this is my identity so how the identity is defined that we know a uh, know as a domain name for example dptriparty.co.in this is my domain name so if anybody just uh, anyone goes to the web browser and types that uh, dptriparty.co.in so he or she will get the full detail on that and uh, that will give the identity all all the detail that user will get about yourself so if it is the case of institute so institute also in the similar pattern will have the website and will get identity around the globe on internet or around online you can say so the another reason is that we can say that yes we have a website or in other word we have identity on internet so this is the basic purpose of website and uh, moving to the next slide now the coming to the point that is the web hosting this is uh, uh, the two major keywords of the this webinar today website and web hosting so when we come to web hosting part so definitely we, we have to know what is the web hosting it's a very simple the website which you develop you can develop it um, in the offline mode using the different platform whether you use it a ready made package like uh, open source content management system or you develop your website using any programming language whether it is html java or php so what we do we develop the website or web application i i, I let, let me say a web application which can be in the different form it can be website it can be communication portal or social networking site so when we have developed so the second job in a row it comes that where to host that hosting means a place where my site will go and sit and 
I will allow my website to be connected by the user around the globe. So what will happen that the place where I go and keep my website that is the web host, a web server. So where we are going to host whether on our local server or any web hosting service provider. There are many web hosting service provider who provide uh, the web space or web server on uh, their server which is available around the globe. So you they charge minimum and uh, based on that they provide services they will host your website and they will provide you the link uh, to share with the uh, public or around um, is other users. So the users get uh, that link and using that link they connect to the uh, website. So this portion web hosting is uh, important because uh, it involves uh, many logical decisions. First of all you need to know that where I am going to host, why to host, the basic uh, we have already discussed that why to host means to get the identity and what are the points we need to consider before hosting. So these points are very very important when we go for the web hosting we will be talking about that in detail. So uh, it is your choice that uh, you web uh, means host it on server or uh, uh, you host it on uh, your local server. So it is your choice but when how does it work it is uh, you can see in the picture it is clearly I will just uh, enable my pen here. Uh, highlighter. So this portion you just see this portion this is our server and uh, this is the internet this is this works as a mediator and these are the users we are all clients. So what it does we have hosted our website in the server and we are sitting in the different parts of country or the globe and using the internet which communicates between the server and the user we get the access. So the basic uh, the concept behind this web hosting and website is this is only that we need one server. This server can be on uh, online platform or you can have your own server. So this is the basic advantage of uh, uh, means having server that you provide the access to the end users through internet. Now why to host? The another uh, important point that why to host? Uh, to have better virtual presence. As I mentioned in my previous slide, to have the better virtual presence we need a website. So in other words the identity, Ident identity are on digital platform or uh, globally on internet we need to have the website. So how do I know? The, that is the major challenge uh, for all of us. How do I know that which web hosting service is uh, good for me, which web hosting service is uh, useful for me or you can say uh, that uh, which web hosting I should choose. So in that we have already five, six categories that is the shared hosting, the VPS hosting, dedicated uh, hosting, cloud hosting and reseller hosting. So all these have the different meaning but uh, we will see that which plan is best for us. So accordingly we will discuss. Uh, now let us talk about the shared hosting. As it name, uh, its name uh, defines itself that uh, we are talking about the shared hosting means we are going to share something. So actually what happens when we purchase the uh, web hosting service from the internet service, I mean web hosting service provider. So they provide our uh, means they host our website on a server and that server is shared. So web server is basically shared by multiple website or multiple client you can say in a common hosting environment means the platform will remain same but that platform will be connecting with the multiple website 
and the best uh, uh, means you can say the another uh, important thing is that they share the same IP address and disk space, RAM, bandwidth, uptime, everything. So uh, you you may be having different advantages and different disadvantages also of this. The different advantage advantage if we talk the first biggest advantage is that it does not require too much cost. It is very uh, you can say the cheap and it is uh, 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 cheap in the sense you do not have to spend huge amount. So in ideal situation or you can say it is uh, suggested uh, that anyone who is having the small business or if one uh, is willing to have a website or a small institution so they can go uh, means they can buy this they can subscribe this shared hosting uh, service so that will serve the purpose the picture itself you can see that this is the uh, my computer and the different client or different website is connected to this server so you can see the cost is very let me change the color of pointer so it will be clear you see here this particular point the cost is very minimal performance performance wise it is best performance you uh, if you look for the performance this will solve your purpose and uh, security that is the major concern when we go for the shared hosting because uh, in the same common platform multiple websites will be connecting and uh, will be sharing the resources so as far as the security is concerned there will be a question of security you may have the less security so for that uh, generally the shared hosting is taken by the small institution or the personal um, uh, for the personal development of the personal website uh, where we do not have more concern about the security so in that case you have to think whether uh, you have the prime concern of security so you need to think about other options a skill required uh, you need a minimum skill because all the hosting provider uh, they provide the panel control panel and that is uh, uh, very easy we, they provide with knowledge base and also they have the 24 7 service almost every hosting uh, service provider they all have the service uh, they, pro they provide better service so uh, the best part is that you don't have to think about uh, the technical skill requirement then service control it is a medium you server control not service control server control uh, it is not uh, you can say that uh, uh, the control on server you will not have the full control but you will have the controls to manage your files to move files to delete and to update and for anything which you think that I need to connect to my server so you can easily connect to the server uh, uh, based upon your request which you uh, take from the service provider or you can send the mail if you want any particular uh, thing to be done on your server so this is about shared hosting and this is most popular and most afford affordable many people many institutions they go they go easily for the shared hosting next is the virtual private server this is the server which is divided into virtual units and each unit acts as a dedicated server it is not completely dedicated but very similar to dedicated server we will also talk about the dedicate, dedicated server the this is also very popular but when we uh, uh, means uh, talk about the um, cost it is not cost effective it is bit expensive and uh, it solves all the purposes like a dedicated server so uh, what it happens you can see that there is a one common uh, one server here and this server is split into the different uh, um, virtual unit so using the software the same hardware or same uh, uh, the server is uh, divided into multiple units where the site will host but the advantage is 
you will be having the access to this server the VPS hosting server which you take you will have the full control almost full control just like a dedicated server uh, there are some uh, you can say disadvantages of this particular uh, VPS hosting it is bit expensive as uh, I already uh, mentioned that this is expensive performance wise you will find much better because you will have all the control on the server though it is in the virtual uh, platform but even then you will be having the better performance because uh, our VPS they use the best hardware in order to provide the services then security in comparison if you compare to the shared hosting you will have the better security and uh, the files and whatever uh, the stuff you are keeping inside uh, this server it is uh, it will be highly secured the skill requirement is also not too much uh, because uh, just like a shared hosting the web service uh, provider they will be giving you the technical uh, support and also they will be providing the control panel so you don't have to think about the technical skill requirement but still you need some basic skill for managing the control panel but i will be showing today online that uh, how those things can be taken okay and server control you will be having the full server control uh, just like dedicated server so this is VPS hosting another one is the dedicated hosting as I mentioned in the VPS hosting that it is divided into multiple virtual unit in this case in the dedicated uh, hosting the user means whoever is the client rents the entire server to host the uh, his or her website and the user has the uh, option to choose to host one of his or her website or all of them on that server so the per means uh, the meaning of this is that the client has the full control over one server just like our standalone system only the difference is that dedicated server will server will be available with web hosting service provider but uh, you can see that this particular server is your dedicated server which you have subscribed or purchased from the web hosting service provider and you are having the full control panel so you uh, means can do whatever you want it is up to you and the best part is that these server have high uh, server performance and high security and full control over the server if you come uh, means compare the cost uh, to VPS hosting and uh, shared hosting so it is bit costly uh, performance wise no doubt since you will be having the full control over the the uh, you will be having the full control over the server as a dedicated server so the performance uh, will be very high because you will be managing all the files security uh, is also not a major concern if you go for the dedicated server a skill requirement it is again uh, means uh, not high you don't have to be highly skilled for managing the control panel and server control just like a VPS server you have the full control in the dedicated server so the basic difference between VPS hosting and the dedicated server is that uh, uh, VPS hosting it is divided into multiple, multiple virtual units and uh, this dedicated hosting this uh, provides the full uh, access to the server now coming to the cloud hosting all of you must be uh, aware about this these days it is uh, very popular and uh, uh, throughout the globe people love it because uh, it uh, provides all the features we require and uh, fully secured not too much technical skill required so basically it works in the cluster server technology uh, all means cluster server technology uh, means you can see that uh, multiple system will be connected uh, together and whatever the file we upload through Google uh, means cl uh, to cl cloud server so it will be shared to each server and based on the load balance the access will be uh, uh, means uh, made available to the end users 
so the resources the server resources are distributed among all the, you know, the website on real time basis and leading to proper configuration and load balancing so basically this uh, uh, it is supported by number of server in the same network so these days the cloud hosting it is very very uh, popular and uh, it provides high end uh, service you can say that uh, it does not uh, require too much technical skills undoubtedly it is bit costly but uh, as far as the uh, hardware is concerned infrastructure is concerned many organizations are there many institutions are there they are not in position to offer afford the cost uh, because they cannot buy uh, high end performance server and it is bit costly so easily those institutions or even for personal use also we can go to the cloud uh, based services performance wise uh, undoubtedly the cloud server are very cloud hosting is very very uh, powerful robust and security also uh, it has high end security skill is not too much required just like other server and but there is a uh, you can say the uh, this one control on server this part you will not be having the full control because the control is fully taken care by the service provider only they will be giving you the access to the part where you are supposed to work and uh, rest of the things they will keep in their custody but uh, all other things uh, are uh, really uh, means uh, very good in this server so these days we are having in library many services like library automation digitization and uh, we are uh, maintaining the uh, website we are maintaining the subject guide we are maintaining research support service so all these we can use uh, using the cloud based technology and many vendors are there in india around the globe they provide the cloud based services or cloud hosting for hosting these uh, tools or the technologies moving to the next one that is the reseller hosting this reseller hosting it uh, works like a uh, uh, means a uh, uh, one middleman is required uh, to provide the uh, this hosting service what happens uh, anyone can buy or uh, purchase from the main web hosting service provider and further it host uh, or it offers to the many people to to host the services uh, you can say the third parties so it works as a uh, means for reseller hosting a middleman is required who, who connects with the main hosting service provider and uh, after that it provides services to the third party so uh, it just like uh, you can see here that uh, this service has been taken care by purchased by uh, middleman and these are the clients uh, to whom the middleman is providing the services to uh, earn you can say or some of the clients they may not be aware about the different technology or the process so in that case these reseller hosting uh, are very very uh, helpful but uh, in today's scenario in the digital era era where everybody is aware about technology everybody everybody is aware about uh, the different technology for different purposes so uh, this reseller hosting uh, is not highly uh, means required or you can say people take less uh, attention uh, give less attention to this hosting so now moving to the next one that is the asking is always better than assuming this is a key point of this particular slide see when we go for any service provider web hosting service provider so that web hosting service provider uh, may offer you different features may offer you different services but you have to be uh, very very careful in that because don't assume that okay i am going to buy this only you have heard from someone and uh, only after hearing you go that okay this service is better than that so i can go no first of all 
uh, just like uh, means we discuss at many platform that you have to analyze your need and then develop the criteria and uh, then you have to read the review you have to talk to the different uh, uh, professional who have been taking care of the uh, means taking the services and uh, after that you have to see the compatibility of the different hardware cost all these then only you can proceed so first of all you see that whatever the need you are looking for a server whether it is suitable for you or not because sometimes if i take the web hosting service for website management or web hosting i think it is uh, required uh, dedicated server because your purpose can be solved with uh, I means vps also your purpose can be solved by uh, shared hosting also so in that case you are not uh, supposed to go for the dedicated server but if the security is major concern or in future you are planning okay i let me take the dedicated server and after that i'll plan so many things so the dedicated server we will be using in future so that is the different thing but if you are going to host only website and that web website is going to solve your purpose so maximum 5gb space is enough so don't get trapped for uh, these days many website they write unlimited space unlim unlimited hosting uh, means uh, bandwidth unlim unlimited domain so all these will involve huge cost all these uh, will involve uh, uh, unnecessary cost involvement and uh, managing also will be difficult for you so better you choose whichever is best for you and uh, then accordingly you go you check the disk disk space means how much space you require and how much it is being offered by the web hosting service provider and then you need to think whether i am get, going to get the technical support all the time or not then you have to think about the hardware this is one of the most important part there are thousand of uh, web hosting service provider they provide the service uh, all kind of service whether it is shared hosting or vps dedicated uh, reseller or cloud but uh, they may not some of them i am not talking about all some of them they may not be good in all and uh, they may be good in one particular so in that case you have to think that uh, which one is good for me and which one is uh, i mean whatever uh, the hardware they are using they have good performance the access is good at the end users it does not get delayed i do not have the means the my website is not going to have the bandwidth problem especially i i means uh, i was using my previous website so uh, because of the huge bandwidth uh, up to 30 gb i was being provided so it used to get over within 15 days so after 15 days my site remain uh, means used to remain ideal and no one even i was uh, i never I means i was not able to access my website so in that case i again have to contact the support team and request okay please increase my bandwidth of the website otherwise uh, means i i am not able to access the website so in that case you have to think that how uh, the hardware is going to help you in order to have the better performance the interface this is highly required uh, the interface is very very important because it should be uh, not very clumsy it should be clear these days almost every web hosting service provider they provide the good interface so it does not create any problem in order to uh, manage those uh, uh, tools inside the control panel but it is better that you go for the uh, trial uh, this you go for the trial before hosting then you check with the email whether it provides the auto responder or not you do you have the add on available like i you am uh, uh, willing to host any social networking site or i am willing to use some google services i am using to uh, any learning i means i am willing to use any learning management system or reference management system or uh, forum so you have to ensure and you have to check whether this add on facility is available or not that's a web, web hosting service provider upgradable uh, this is also uh, means you have to consider because today i am using uh, i am using uh, 
tools which may be we may become obsolete after two years or five years. So that time I may have one challenge of upgradation of my software or upgradation my of my platform. So you have to ensure in future will they support or not. And finally, you have to think about the total cost involvement. You just compare two three site. I'll just show you some of the twenty best site as on day. And based on that, uh, you don't go for the very costly one. You just compare and whichever you find that is suitable for you. So you can go ahead and uh, you can uh, buy the server. Now, now you may be thinking that there are many uh, services, me server, where we are getting the fee free hosting, and there are many which are paid hosting. So, what is the difference between uh, free hosting and paid hosting? Basically, when we talk about the free hosting, uh, they provide the space on their server, subject to uh, they will be adding the domain name at the end. For example, best example I will give you the WordPress.com. If you create any blog or website using the web uh, WordPress.com, so it gives you space, it gives you uh, opportunity to create your domain dp3party.wordpress.com I can create, I can get my login I can go inside the page but I may not have the full feature of the website and what it does it means when I host my site or start publication of my article or publish my pages uh, in the globe so it shows advertisement on the uh, on my pages, it will share the branding, their branding or the the branding of those companies which are having tie up with the particular web uh, free hosting service provider. Uh, lack of custom support, uh, technical support, if you get a, means across any problem, if you come across any challenges in between, so you may not be having the support from uh, those uh, means free hosting service provider. So in that case you may be having little uh, difficulties. So these are the you can say difficulties. Then we have the limited bandwidth uh, uh, this one. This is very important. Limited bandwidth. Suppose your uh, website is of uh, very uh, good and contains uh, high attentive articles means high attention uh, some of the article who writes the blog they write very high quality articles so it may attract lot of users around the globe and uh, it there may be uh, technical challenges of bandwidth uh, people uh, may have problem in accessing so if they maintain the website with free hosting service so there there may be issue uh, of bandwidth generally it does not happen but it may happen with those website which are ha or on which are on high use and being accessed by globe uh, global users so it may have the bandwidth problem so you have to think about the free hosting then upgrade required for advanced feature uh, always we have this problem advanced feature means if you want to add any page because we will not be having um, no, uh, means freedom for adding the pages. There are limitation to add the pages. So if you want to add some uh, other features to that, so there you may be having problem. Then less reliable. This is uh, one important thing because whatever the document or whatever the content I am sharing that uh, I am not having control because my file and uh, everything is being shared. Uh, by the end users. So in that case uh, it uh, may create problem for you. It may have some security issue and it may have some uh, difficulties in dealing with uh, these resources. So uh, you just better you see that uh, if you are comfortable with free hosting you can go ahead if you can bear with advertisement you can bear with uh, shared host the branding and uh, custom support which you are getting for maintaining the website. So you can very well go with the WordPress or say there are some other website also. Now let us talk about the paid hosting as we have discussed about the different uh, hosting portion. So this is reliable we get 24-7 technical support, customer service, unique branding, 
because you are getting the domain name and then you have the security then you have option to grow and the thousands of plugins available freely so all these are good if you go for the paid hosting so it is up to you that uh, what is your need and whether you are able to proceed with paid hosting or not so this is uh, the point where you have to take the decision these are the some uh, 20 best web hosting service uh, this is recent uh, data i have collected from internet uh, i'll share the link in the uh, comment box here you can find that these are the website like uh, inmotion hosting hostinger cloudways hostgator and host winds go daddy uh, this name you might have uh, heard many times bluehost ipage and then hostfab dreamhost these are all the website which is listed as the top 20 website for 2020 but uh, in my opinion i have been using the website uh, i think for uh, more than 15 years and uh, so this is my experience that it is not compulsory that you go with any one of these it is not essential you can go ahead with the some good uh, web hosting service provider available in india and uh, in uh, which two of them i have personally used like uh, hosting raja.in and inwayhosting.com these two also provide a good service similarly there are thousands of website uh, or web hosting service provider in india who provide best service in the less cost so you have to see and you can collect the review or uh, you can get the feedback from other professionals who are maintaining their uh, website or using the web hosting service from the different service providers so they will give you the clear cut picture about that moving to register dot domain yeah so i hope uh, i have covered almost all the important points as far as the web hosting is concerned now the next uh, important point is that domain name domain is one of the important parts so when we come uh, means decide for web hosting we have to think about three part what i am going to host that is the website we have already talked about second where i am going to host and third what will be the my identity name that we call it as a domain name. so in category of domain uh, there are many uh, domain uh, you might have seen that some of the website they add .com, .org, uh, .net, .nic.in, .ac.in, .gov.in so let me clarify that uh, some of the domain we cannot buy from openly it is given by the uh, ministry or registered uh, you can say the registered registrar so i have listed here like uh, these are the domain gov.in ac.in edu.in res.in and uh, .in .org and .com so i have listed here some of the domain which we cannot take generally uh, NIC is the exclusive registrar for the gov.in domain names if you have to take uh, domain so you have to go to this particular uh, website there is a uh, form you need to fill up and you have to follow the procedure to register the domain so generally this is done by the institution and uh, uh, especially this free of charges is provided to the uh, institution because this deals with the government website ac.in the responsibility for having the domain uh, like ac.in edu.in res.in it is all uh, taken care by the rnet so you can go to this uh, website registry.rnet.in and follow the registration procedure to register a domain under this and uh, uh, this is the paid service so you will get all the detail if you go to this particular website and the, the NIC.in is owned by actually National Information Center and uh, uh, is the authorized registrar for this GOV.in, uh, this domain. 
and uh, it is advised to all government departments, central state, to host their website under gov.in. Domain name. You might have seen that uh, means all the government websites, uh, means government institution, they have the website with uh, gov.in domain. So you can go to the website, this website registry.gov.in, and you can get the detail and uh, also you can check the availability. Now you may be having the question that. Uh, uh, you may be having the question, uh, uh, one question you may be having in your mind that uh, who provides the domain name, who is having the responsibility for providing the domain. So for that you can directly go to the website https colon double slash whois.icann.org. So you will get the detail that how it does, You, I will explain here, this is the body. ICANN. So this works with the registry operator and after that uh, means in collaboration with the different registrars and uh, then with the help of these registrar and these registry operator any domain is registered. So I will not go in detail in this part because we have to discuss so many things. Uh, it is uh, self-explanatory. So if you go to this website, you will get all the detail uh, how it is done. Now coming to the um, my close uh, slide, I mean uh, practical session. How, what, what are the process we need to follow in order to host the services? So in order to host the website first we have to go to the web hosting service provider website that i will show you then check for your domain name you you wish to register this also we will do then if available we will choose the name and we will select that okay this website i need and i have to buy and i have to host my website now proceed for web hosting plan we have to choose the plan and then we have to make the payment check it out so this one process will give you the access to the control panel. Immediate after making the payment to the hosting service provider, they will send you one registered means mail to your registered email ID containing all your control panel details, login ID and password. And uh, then we can directly go to the control panel. And uh, here uh, we will be having the user ID and password and then we will see how we can uh, do the other pro process to host the website. Next we have to log in in control panel. We will be installing the con uh, content management system one after another. Then we will customize the website and we will publish it on the inline. online. So this is the process we are going to follow now. Uh, before we proceed, let me explain what is the content management system because here I mentioned that uh, we will be talking about uh, the installing content management system. So the content management system by name you can understand that any system which manages the content, what uh, that is called the content management system. Now the question is the what is the content and what are the content we can manage with the system. Okay, So that we have to decide the content can be from library resources, content can be of any detail of your uh, uh, digital library, your bibliographic description, your library uh, service detail, user awareness program, there are a lot of contents. Only you need to collect them, organize them and put it on the website. So for this we have a, uh, these days in the digital era we have a big challenge of managing the resources. Why? Because there is a situation of information explosion where we find lot of information because of the emergence of uh, you can say the multidisciplinary subject. Lot of research is going on, lot of e-resources are being published, lot of e-resources are being created and provided to the library. So in that sense, this can be very, very uh, much helpful uh, content management system which can help you 
to manage your content and uh, what it it will do it can help you to create publish organize maintain and manage the whole thing so this is the uh, you can say to understand the meaning of content management system and basically we will be talking about two so the introduction part uh, what is joomla wordpress i'll explain and we will see that how we can work in joomla and wordpress separately uh, how to create category article different menu how to use modules different plugins templates how to attach media means uh, images what are the different component so all these we will be see uh, means uh, discuss in the practical session first i'll show you demonstrate you online and after that i will demonstrate you uh, means will uh, second part we will discuss offline so moving to the next one next slide the purpose we have to ensure i will close this uh, presentation after this that to have the uh, website or you can say to launch the website or to provide the best services to meet the end users to market our library services we have to ensure that we are not our ancient crow we are not working like ancient crow we don't have to be even the old crow also we have to be a new crow where we have such a way that we don't have to throw the pebble in the pot we don't have to use the pipe rather we have to think in that way how easily we can provide the services to the end users using the different tools especially the content management system for better services from library or from the institution so uh, i will uh, be happy to receive your question and uh, uh, feedback i'll share the link but now i'm going to show you how you can uh, register the domain and how you can register the uh, uh, means domain and how you can purchase the uh, any uh, web hosting service from the web hosting service provider so let me open the uh, first uh, browser and here i will be uh, showing you first let me show you that uh, what are the different uh, bro uh, uh, web hosting service provider so i just type here list of web hosting service provider here the list of web hosting service provider so you get uh, so many details and uh, only you need to uh, choose or you can say you have to think that which one is better for me so if i go for example if i click here i'll be getting lot of uh, uh, detail and uh, based on that i can select i can go ahead but it is always suggested that you don't go uh, means straight way you just think first and you just compare you just get an idea from the other users other uh, uh, means uh, professional who are using the different services uh, you see here list of best 20 web hosting companies of 2020 which i already mentioned in my slide so these are the website which you can uh, go through you can get compare and then you can decide that which one is the best but as far as uh, uh, means my view is concerned i prefer to go with uh, some of the website which i have already uh, been using for more than one decade so in that uh, there is a one website uh, that is the hosting raja this is the good website uh, or good uh, web hosting service provider which provides all kind of uh, server it is dedicated or vps or uh, uh, cloud or some other services like if you are looking for any specific service a wordpress or g suite so you can go accordingly so you can see it provides web hosting plans unlimited window hosting java yes i have to mention one more thing here that uh, 
this web hosting service provider they provide the different servers servers like one will be the java based means window based and another will be the linux based so here also you have to think that uh, whether you are going for the window based uh, uh, web hosting services or you are going for the linux based web hosting services so in both the cases this is your choice now let me uh, go ahead with the plans i can see clearly on the screen that uh, there are three plan this gold silver and starter so if i go with the starter it is little cheaper you can see that i have to pay only 65 rupees per month and i'll be getting what 40 gb web space then 5 gb bandwidth and then i'll be getting 10 email services i'll be getting two file transfer protocol accounts i'll be getting one sub domain and i'll be getting one website to host including the domain but what is restricted i will not be getting uh, any free domain i will not be getting drag and drop site builder these days it is very popular i'll be showing when we go inside the uh, site builder and then low priority support means if you go for this you may be getting less support they may not be giving you uh, prompt services but definitely they will be giving you service if you write the problem so they will uh, reply but uh, in compared to these services so they have clearly written that they will be giving low priority support and if i go for this Uh, like a gold plan so i can see that i will be given 120 gb space and at 100 gb bandwidth you compare this 5 gb bandwidth and this is the 100 gb bandwidth and this 250 emails you see here then i'll be getting unlimited ftp accounts i'll be getting unlimited sub domain which will help you to create multiple Uh, website or multiple web application in my domain a uh, sub domain means for example i am having one domain uh, dptriparty.co.in so i can create sub domain like uh, moodle.dptriparty.co.in or wordpress.dptriparty.co.in or joomla. or whatever so there are many uh, you can say freely content management system available or i can have three four sub domain and i can have different different web uh, application into that so these are the uh, features and uh, another very important point that uh, is being offered in this particular gold plan that i am being provided five website here only three and here only one so i can host five website into my this particular server plan web hosting service plan a uh, c panel is common in all the platform because uh, the c panel is the gateway or uh, the window where you go and monitor your all the services uh, means website how to host the website how to create database how to keep the data all this and then here also you will not be getting free domain but two features are given that is the drag and drop uh, site builder and high priority support so but this is this particular price is available for 5 years if you go for one year it may be little costly these are all uh, you can say the uh, strategy of the marketing so you have to choose accordingly and finally when i click on this suppose i am going with the gold plan i am going with the gold plan so if i click on this so it will take me to the next page and here uh uh you see here it is asking me whether you need only hosting means the meaning of this is that if you are already have purchased your domain name for example dptriparty.org or dptriparty.net so that you don't have to buy that you can only in that case you can buy only hosting server space and if you do not have domain so in that case first 
you buy your domain name and then hosting both. So you can check here whether my domain which I am going to buy is available with me or not. So let me uh, talk here, uh, means type here www. Uh, for example, I type dp3party.net or I can just delete here. I can delete here and I'll take this dot net and let me search whether I get it or not. dp3party.net. So the moment I click here, buy for one year it is available you can see uh, buy for one year or two year or three year dp3party.in is available you can see and it is asking me whether this particular domain you want to buy for one year or three year or two year accordingly it will charge and after that get this domain with gold and unlimited you see here if you have any problem, suppose at this stage you get any problem, so you can chat with the expert here at the bottom, there is a button. So you can chat and then finally click on continue. So when you click on continue, it will ask you to provide uh, your de detail and when you fill up the detail, uh, it will uh, uh, you can uh, click on continue and when you make the payment for example i go i do not choose anything and uh, here i give my email id i give here for example code I give here and phone number ok so the city I give here and then I choose my state and when I click here you continue so you can notice that it will throw me uh, the detail of the invoice that how much I am supposed to pay and when I make the payment immediately it will send me the detail of my this control panel you see here it is asking me to make the payment of 1126 rupees and this is only for uh, means one year it completes uh, domain registration dp3party.nin plus dns management so when I complete uh, this particular portion, remember this is only for domain, you have to buy the web space, so you need to buy separate that one. Uh, you talk to the uh, chat, means the uh, support team, so they will give you the full uh, detail. So when I make the payment, it will create me, uh, means uh, uh, it will send me the control panel detail. So I'm not going to make the payment now. I just cancel here and I'll go to my email ID. I will go to my email ID and here I will uh, means show you that uh, please uh, ensure that you are not using my email ID or the control panel detail uh, because this will this may create problem for me. Okay, so I, I just want to show you that how does it look. It will show you all the detail and uh, that detail you have to use when you connect to the control panel. Okay, so almost it is open and I have saved separately so we will not have any problem. Uh, yes, let me go to the hosting Raja because I am also using the hosting Raja platform. So this will help you to understand that how, yeah. So I am sharing my detail, please don't, don't use it. 
so it will uh, they will send you the detail like this you see i have purchased and uh, it is it has given me the login detail it has given me the control panel it has given me the name server ftp host name web page url everything so what i am to i have to do now i have to go to the control panel first so this control panel will allow me i directly go to the control panel when i click on this my control panel login page will look like this and here i have to enter my user id detail password and then i click on the login so it will directly connect me to the control panel and now you are watching the inner portion of the control panel which will uh, show you so many options like file manager weebly weebly is also one platform which provides the free web hosting and you can create uh, your own website you will get the option for adding the image you will get the option for creating the ftp account then how much disk has been used all these backup how means if you want to take the backup of your website because it may happen that you are uh, means suppose you want to use it on a local server or for teaching purpose so all these you can see here here this is the site publisher one uh, tool for uh, publishing the site this will show you all the domain which you have hosted or you are going to create this will provide you add on domain if you want to add any domain or uh, if you want to redirect it for example uh, you are having another website and somebody knows that dptripathi.in uh, is my uh, website and uh, but if anybody uh, if comes to this particular website it directs to the that website so you can configure here and you can create sub domain you can configure your dns like that this is uh, providing the php my database mysql database mysql database wizard email everything you will find lot of stuff here and the best part is that the softaculous this is the app installer this app installer will provide you an opportunity to install the uh, uh, different content management system or different application web based application with a single click you see all these are the scripts all these are the categories which has multiple tools like if i have to install wordpress prestasoft or joomla or php bb or open real estate or smf all these are the scripts or you can say the different tools which will help you to develop the web application and uh, one more uh, it is very important it is uh, recently in use people are using it frequently this is the sitepad website builder which helps you to uh develop the website now you might have seen so many website uh, responsive in nature so lot of good uh, templates are available so you can choose any one and you can uh, web develop so that this i am not going to discuss i will discuss in some other webinar that how to develop the website with the website builder uh moving to the next part which are, is very important for us let me show you that since i have i have already this domain so uh, this particular website is functional which you can see i have installed joomla and this website i have developed uh, using this hosting raja plan in joomla dptripathi.co.in so you can see that this website um, um, is running on dptripathi.co.in domain so i will not destroy this what i am going to do that i will create another sub domain it will work similar to domain so you will understand that how to create sub domain also and how to host the website so first i am going to create one uh, the first part i am going to create one sub domain and in that sub domain we will install the content management system so to create sub domain first i have to click on sub domains when i click here 
I have to enter the subdomain name. So like uh, okay. So I create here. Uh, for example, I have to create uh, uh, Jumal, uh, Jumla. So I'll simply write Jumla. And in which domain it will work? So I have to choose here Joomla dot dp tripathi dot co dot in. Suppose you have integrated many websites like uh, libguide dot in or dp tripathi dot co dot in. So it is up to you that in which uh, website you are going to integrate this. So I will take dp tripathi dot co dot in and I'll simply create click on create. So it will create one subdomain. You can see I got the message Joomla dot dp tripathi dot co dot in has been created. So again I will click on go back. So my subdomain is created now. Now follow my cursor. I'll go to control panel again, and then I will go down, or I can go directly to the Softaculous app installer. So I'll just click on this. I click on this, and you left side you see these are all categories. So you can choose accordingly. For example, if I need to develop blog, so these are the different blog tools. If I have to use content management system, so these are all different content management system you can choose accordingly. So let me choose the Joomla first. Okay, and uh, this Joomla you can see here we are going to install in this platform. So this platform here I click on install now, and when I click on this, it is asking me to install which version of Joomla. So there are two version. 3.9 and 2.5. 2.5 people are not using because it has been uh, uh, not getting the support from the open source community. So that uh, you uh, is better. It is not to use 2.5 because if you get any technical problem, so you may not be getting the technical community. It has different architecture than the three version. And uh, here we have to choose the domain which we created. So which one we created? We created the Joomla dot dp tripathi dot co dot in. This I choose. So what I have done? Choose the version you want to install. Now choose the installation URL. Means next time if somebody access my page, so they will type Joomla dot dp tripathi dot co dot in, and this particular page will be accessible. Okay. Now in directory, so this is advisable that you do not create any directory, because if you create any directory, you will have to type Joomla dot dp tripathi dot co dot in slash that directory name, and that will be creating a problem for you. So that better you do not create, uh, do not give any directory. Now moving to the site name, here you have to. Uh, give the site name. So I just simply type here. Welcome to my website. Or uh, you can give the description. This website or portal for library resources. Like that I have written. Then install import sample data. So in case of Joomla, you have to select. This is my opinion. Uh, you may go with the blank or blog or browser, but I find comfortable with the default English to develop easily. So I'll go ahead with the default English, and then I will create my username and password. Please be careful when you are creating user ID and password. Uh, you don't have to miss this; otherwise, again you'll have to uh, fetching the user ID and password. You'll have to contact the technical support team and all that. So you create the user ID and password for Joomla administration page, and keep it safely. So I just type here username library, password I for example library star uh, one two three star. I have given. 
remember see this L is capital it is case sensitive so you have to remember then real name for example I give library administrator and then you have to give the email ID so for I give my email ID as dptnitrkl.gmail.com and then I will move to the next advanced option will give you an option that you can choose your database name what will be your database name which will include the prefix dp3 part tripod and underscore this by default this will create the database here so you don't have to give the def uh, means uh, if you were not willing to go ahead with the default one so you can give your own so I give here uh, for example webinar I give here webinar webinar and then I click here everything will remain same and I click here install and I have to wait for some time and uh, this page will be automatically installed and it will throw the user ID and password using that ID and password we have to log in okay so you can see my Joomla installation has been done successfully. This is the process for online registration and installation of content management system. Now if I click on this, so it will show me the administration page joomla.dp3party.co.in if I just click this much only enter this much in the browser and I hit enter so it will show me the install installed page of Joomla and which will be uh, ready to access but we have not achieved our purpose because this particular website does not have the content it is only having the template default template and some content which is created by the Joomla default content now our next target is that how we can uh, develop design this particular page how we can change the content how we can add the content how we can add the menu how we can add the uh, different modules and then it will look beautiful so before we proceed let me uh, uh, actually let, let me clarify how Joomla works so it will become very easy for you uh, because uh, uh, before understanding if you proceed you may find difficulty uh, to where is what so uh, I'll just take the screenshot of this and I'll open the word and then I'll paste here and then I'll show you that how it works Yeah, I have opened the Microsoft Word and uh, yes, I paste here. 